Proceed to the Destiny module. We'd like to explain the laboratory in more detail. Destiny is the primary module for U.S. payloads, where most research is done. It supports a wide range of studies and accommodates 24 equipment racks for control of ISS systems and science experiments. Take a look around. See if you can find the exercise bike and the emergency medical table. One of the critical tools used in the Destiny module is called the glove box. Find it now. The glove box is a secure unit in which experiments can be done in a safe, quarantined environment. The ISS is due to receive new experiments to use in the glove box on a resupply mission arriving soon. You can also access a number of archival videos showing previous experiments. See what you can find. Mission Control to ISS. Please go to Node 3 for capsule docking. I say again, please go to Node 3 for capsule docking. Use your tablet to see where Node 3 is located. When you have the map up, you'll be able to select any module by pointing and touching it with your right index finger, and you'll immediately go there. Whether you use your hand controls or select it on the tablet, proceed to Node 3. The name of Node 3 is Tranquility. This is where oxygen generation, uh, carbon dioxide removal, and water recovery is done on the ISS. If you haven't found it already, look around for the cupola. Depending on how you're oriented, you can probably find it below you. Without gravity, you can rotate yourself and turn head over heels to make yourself upside down relative to the station. Press up on your right thumbstick to rotate until the cupola is over your head. Then, move yourself up and inside. The cupola is every astronaut's favorite location on the ISS because it has such a fantastic view of the Earth. Take a moment to see what home looks like from 250 miles above the surface. This is also a great spot to watch approaching spacecraft. We have an unmanned resupply mission ready to dock at the station. You'll need to commence manual docking. Initiate the docking procedure from your tablet by tapping on your selection with your finger. Approach the controls and we'll guide you through the procedure. Now that you're at the controls, you'll see monitors showing the view from your external cameras. The joysticks in front of you will control the Remote Manipulator System, or RMS, which is the main robotic arm. The RMS is attached to a platform called the Mobile Base System, or MBS. The translational joystick can move straight in any direction. In and out, left and right, up and down. You should be able to see both the capsule and the capture port on two monitors. Try moving the joysticks and see how the robotic arm responds. Use the translational joystick on the left and the rotational joystick on the right to bring the arm into position. As you proceed slowly, things should be fine. You'll need to line up the latching end of the arm to the capsule docking port, and once you're connected, initiate capture. You should see the docking port highlighted on the capsule above you. Be sure not to hit either the station or the capsule with the arm. ISS, don't jeopardize a hundred million dollar supply. ISS, don't jeopardize a hundred million dollar supply mission. Looks like you're getting a little too close there, ISS. Check your monitors. Looks like you're getting a little too close there, ISS. Check those monitors. Whatever you do, don't hit the station with the arm. ISS, please don't jeopardize a $100 million supply mission. We 
are monitoring your progress, and you have the green light to proceed. Try again, and take it slowly this time. 